What up everybody, this is George Langebeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. I am saying that because this is for Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And so for YouTube, I'm just telling you that just in case you've never seen me before. But anyway, most of you have, and my family and friends out there, this is mostly for you, but everybody's gonna see this. So I'm gonna say my full name anyway. All right, so as a lot of you know, I was diagnosed with colon cancer back in October. And we've kind of gone up and down in, in what's been going on. But basically, when I left you last, there were some spots on my liver. You know, when you have colon cancer and it spreads to somewhere else in the body, most usually it goes to the liver or the lungs. Luckily, we've determined my lungs are okay. But I did have some spots on my liver, and at that point, it becomes stage four if they're cancer. So my last update, really, we were doing a PET scan to see if those spots were cancer. And then I actually did a biopsy last week to also verify whether or not they were cancer been frustrated because I've been sitting here for about three or four weeks thanks to Thanksgiving and then all these things they needed to coordinate. But uh, last week we got some things done, but unfortunately it wasn't the best news. So um, two days ago, I got a, the results from the biopsy and unfortunately those spots are cancer. And then so yesterday I had a meeting with the liver surgeon. I've got a liver surgeon, colon surgeon, and my oncologist, which is kind of the quarterback of the entire situation. Well, yesterday I had already had a meeting with my liver surgeon because we were going to determine possible liver surgery to remove these spots. But the bad news that we got out of that meeting is these spots are multifocal. Multifocal. So I had these two spots. They were very small. They were in a good spot. Looked like we were going to be able to do surgery. But this multifocal situation came about because I have a third spot on my liver and it's not near the other two. And the problem with that is it, it makes it seem quite evident that I, I might have a little microscopic cancer throughout my liver and that, that makes it probably unlikely that I'll be able to get that surgery. And because I, ha I can't get that surgery, at least as it stands now, all this becomes a little less curable, which sucks. Um, but it is what it is. So that basically takes us to chemo. And I actually started chemo today. So I sat in a chair for four hours and then I got my little MERS. I'm rocking my MERS that I'm gonna carry around with me for 46 hours that keeps infusing the chemo. Um, but the hope is with the chemo is that we basically burn out all the disease in my liver and all the stuff that where it's spread which are my lymph nodes, my liver, and then hopefully even shrink down the colon tumor itself. But if we, so in three months, which is six cycles of chemo, they're gonna do another PET scan. From this point on, we're gonna just do PET scans because I did CT scans and I, I did an ultrasound and we're gonna stick with PET scans because they're the ones that are most effective for me because they're kind of telling me I'm a little bit of a unicorn because I got these spots in my liver, but they're very small. I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. So if I don't seem horribly depressed, number one, it's because of all your support. And number two, it's because I don't feel sick. And let's hope it stays that way. In fact, even after chemo, you know, you hear about all these side effects and everything. This went pretty smooth, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, but I just don't feel sick. So I'm a little bit of a unicorn in the fact that I'm not presenting any problems with my liver. I've just, I just don't feel sick. So there, you know, Dr. My oncologist, who's awesome, very much like me, very tell it like it is. I could tell he's actually just a little bit pissed off because he told me one thing last time I saw him and no fault of his, he just thought certain things were happening, but now these other things are happening, but he actually is just pissed off because I'm just a unique case. Like what the hell man kind of thing. And so the fact that it's less curable sucks, but if chemo works, we're gonna re-examine it with a PET scan in three months. And if there's no evidence of the disease in my liver, that means I can go back to the original plan, which was to remove part of my colon. And then we'll scan again, obviously, after that and make sure that there's still no evidence of the disease. And then, as my chemo nurse told me today, it'll be kind of like a person that's diabetic or that has um, high, blood pressure. high blood pressure, where you just monitor it the rest, where you just monitor it for the rest of your life. I can deal with that. So not as curable sucks, but there's still hope that basically there's no evidence of the disease after chemo. I'm, I'm taking, just for the awareness, I'm, I'm doing all this for the awareness. You know, it, it actually, I, everybody's got their own fight. 
And I don't want to just disparage anybody's battle or what they're going through or their privacy, but things like Kirstie Alley, who just died, um, Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther, they didn't tell anybody. And if you think of the Black Panther and his platform he had, how much awareness he could have raised, and I don't blame his family or him or whatever, everybody's got their own thing. But it, it kind of pisses me off because I would have loved to know what happened to him. I'd love to know what happened to Kirstie Alley. But so I'm sharing and one person, and I've already been confirmed that one of you, several of you, I'm over 30 something that have got colonoscopies. And I thank you so much for that. Because if I help just one of you, this is all worth it. And all the people that have told me they've at least got them scheduled, that's fantastic. So anyway, I'm raising awareness. So let's hope. So basically we're going to get scanned. Let's hope I'm free of disease in my liver. Let's hope the chemo does its work. By the way, the liver doctor and my oncologist think that this chemo will work just because of how small everything is in my liver, the way this is all looking. So let's hope because I'm sick of getting backwards bad news and let's go forward to good news. And it's going to happen, damn it. It's going to happen. And during any of this, I'm not giving up on anything. So it's going to happen. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to beat this thing. One way or the other. I might not live till I'm 80, but I'm not going down without a fight and it's not going to be anytime soon. So that's it. That's where we're at. Anything else we should add, Teresa? No, Teresa was there. There's a lot of information for me to remember. So I think you covered it pretty darn well. Yeah. So um, let's, and then basically I'll get scanned more often for the PET scans. Like we were talking about the high blood pressure and, um, you know, living with that kind of thing for the rest of my life, diabetes. I'll just keep getting PET scans occasionally. And like any other cancer survivor, you're just always going to dread that scan for the rest of your life. And I will, but man, if we can get to the point where I'm looking like free to disease, um, you were telling me about a person that's been in there. She's been free of disease for 10 years and no evidence of it coming back. And so she's an exception and there's no reason I can't be an exception. If I'm a unicorn already, I'll just continue to be a unicorn. I will be the exception. I will be 10 years or more than 10 years. I'll do whatever I need to, but I'm going to be there and I'm not just a number. You can give me any percentage you want. Now, stage four and what happens to you, I'm not a freaking number. So if there's somebody that's going to beat it, why can't it be me? So anyway, that's my update. So I'm going to walk around with this for 46 hours. I'm, this two days on, and then I got 12 days. I'm told, depending on the side effects, the good news for me, and I've watched a lot of YouTubers out there, and I appreciate them so much sharing their journeys. So I, I had a lot to sink my teeth into as far as research. And a lot of them have been plagued with side effects right off the bat. Today, my first one went as smooth as it could go. I feel completely fine. I got this thing hanging on me. I got a port. That's the other thing I did last week. I got a port on my chest um, so they can just give me my infusions and draw my blood right here. And for all of you that told me I love that thing, I do because it was great. But I feel fine. This went very smooth. I got a little sensitivity when I, when I touch something cold. Just feels like just a little needle prick, but it's nothing that hurts. It's just there. But I've been drinking fine. Uh, I went outside. It's cold here today. I was fine. So I think this first round went as well as it could. Now, today's just day one. I got to make it through the nausea period and the side effect period. Apparently, is the, the few days after. So I'm not getting too cocky yet, but man, I'll take today being so smooth. So anyway... I just wanted to give you all this update. A lot of you have been concerned. And again, I don't want to cry, but the, the love and support is unreal. And while I'm standing here, I got this stoplight back here. And this stoplight's important to me for two reasons. Number one, I got this out of my aunt's backyard. Um, breast cancer survivor, still surviving. Kicked its ass quite a few years ago and still cooking. Uh, this was in her backyard when I was a kid. I was so happy to inherit it. And then Teresa's brother, who we just lost this year, who also fought to the end. And again, I'm going to try not to cry. But he welded this stand on there for me. And so this pretty special to me, especially right now. Um, so very fitting that it's here. All right. So before I start bawling, I'm going to wrap it up. As far as the YouTube channel goes, I don't know what's going on. 
I'm going to try to get back to normal, but I can't promise anything, but I, I promise you I'm going to try these 12 days where I might be normal, then hell yes, I'm going to be looking for stuff to do. I'm going to come back with nice and normal content. I'm going to keep you updated with this because so many of you across the world have been wondering, and I thank you so much. But anyway, I'm going to try my best. And then for the people, family and friends on Facebook and Instagram, I'll keep updating you too. So until next time, peace and love.